Axio brings an app launcher to Control Center. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Jeff Benjamin with I Download Blog. We are talking about Axio, a new jailbreak tweak that brings an app launcher to Control Center. Now, I'm just going to tap on the settings app here to launch the settings app directly from Control Center. And you can actually access that from anywhere. So you could be in an app, you can be on the home screen, you can even be on the lock screen, as I'll show you in a little bit. Inside of Axial's preferences, you'll find several different switches and settings and panels there. At the top, you'll see a kill switch, which will just completely disable Axial. So I can just invoke Control Center like normal, turn it back on, and then Axial comes back. You have a show in lock screen setting. We'll get to that a little bit later. You have an apps section. We'll get to that a little bit later as well. But that's where you set up the meat and potatoes with regard to the tweak. You also have background blur. So you can change the style behind the app launcher in Control Center. So right now I have it set to dark and you can tell that's dark. I'm going to change it to extra light. So that's extra light. And then light not so light. Well, I guess it is still light. And then none, basically like that. So uh, I like the dark setting, but you know, obviously this is something that's a personal preference. You can check it out and see if you like it or not. Now there is one other little switch here in the main uh, root portion of Axial's preferences, and that is the combine button sections. Now look at the uh, control center here. You see it's taking up a lot of space. You have a lot of the buttons on their own lines. Now watch what happens when I enable combine button sections. See control center is a lot smaller now. That's because these sections have been combined. So you actually have uh, the airplay and airdrop button on the same uh, section as the toggles, and that's on the same as the quick launch. So that basically just makes Control Center a lot smaller, not as tall, and gives you more room for more app icons in Axial. So that takes us to the app section of this jailbreak tweak. You also have a little section up here for using app box. That is another one of the developers jailbreak tweaks, a lock screen launcher. You can use the apps configured with that if you want to do that. Then there's lock screen apps. Uh, so now we're really getting into the important part of this tweak. One of my favorite parts actually. So if you go to apps, you'll be able to set up and configure the apps that actually appear. So you saw uh, those apps that I had set up here, they're all listed here. There's six of them. I can actually drag up additional apps if I want to do that. I can rearrange applications if I want to do that. So I'm going to just throw a few more apps in there. And now you see I have, well, there's uh, seven, eight, eight of them. Let's add one more just to make it look even. There we go. Alrighty. So, and of course you can rearrange those. So you see settings is first there in that example. I'm going to put settings last. How about that? And now you see settings is last. All right. So now we have our app set up. Let's check out the auto unlock section. And you see basically three little portions here. You have enable auto unlock. And then I put in my passcode already, uh, just so you guys won't see my passcode. Um, so I put in my passcode. I have enable auto unlock and what this will do and I'll show you here in a second is that it will auto unlock an app that you launch from the lock screen and then lock your device again when closing out of that app so it's actually just a temporary unlock so to speak so that you can access the apps that you have whitelisted you also have a fully unlocked device and that's a little less secure because that will perform a full unlock so when you close out of the apps you'll still be able to peruse the rest of your iPhone uh, and then auto unlock apps you can whitelist certain apps that you want enabled. So all of them are whitelisted right now. But if I don't ever want someone launching uh, the App Store app, I can just pull it down here under Disabled. And if I don't want ever uh, someone launching 1Password, I can pull it down here under, under Disabled or Alien Blue. So I'm just going to actually blacklist several of these apps here that I don't want anyone launching. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to have it so that only the settings app can be launched from the lock screen. How about that? And uh, that'll be about it on there. Now, under options, you have apps per row. So right now it's set to three. Uh, I can change that to four if I want to uh, or five if I want to. So you can see why it's good to have that extra real estate in the uh, control center or just having control center pushed down a little bit uh, because that gives you more space to play around with. And then you have apps per row and landscape. You can change that as well. Now activation corner for landscape, uh, you can set up the two corners on your device while in landscape mode to enable Axial. And I'll show you that here in a little bit. Uh, then you have badges, labels, round icons, uh, 
opacity and size. So you can change the opacity if you want to turn that all the way down. I'm basically making it so you can't see anything. All right. And then size, you can boost the size of your app icons if you want to do that. Make them really crazy big if you want to do that. I'll turn that down again. All right, so I've so showed you pretty much everything except for the really important thing, and that's the lock screen. So let's go to the lock screen here. All right, so now I'm going to invoke Control Center. I'm gonna tap on the Settings app because I've set that as whitelisted to Auto Unlock, and that launches just like that. And when I hit the Home button, guess what? Goes back to the lock screen. Now the other applications will actually request a passcode um, so that they will not unlock at all. Now, let me show you the landscape mode and what I was talking about earlier. Now, because Control Center takes up the entire landscape mode, um, yeah, Axio has no room to display its app icons, but there is that option to swipe from the edge of the screen, either the left or right edge. If I do that, then that will load up Axio in place of the Control Center. So just something to keep in mind if you want to bring up your app launcher while in landscape mode. So ladies and gents, that is Axio, a $1.50 jailbreak tweak on the Big Boss repo. It brings an awesome quick launch tweak to iOS 8, basically places a app launcher in Control Center and you can actually launch apps and auto unlock your device while on the lock screen as well. Let me know what you guys think about Axial down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.